God bless you all in the name of the Lord Jesus. This is just a message that I received and I'm gonna speak it exactly how I received it. I had a vision as though I was walking towards a corner of a street, kind of like at an intersection. There was a building to my right. I noticed that there was a ramp leading up to a side entrance and I saw that there was this convenience about the side entrance. Even though I would have to go turn the corner to get into the entrance of the building, the official entrance, there was a side entrance and it was right here, it was so close to me and I could just walk to the side of the building if I wanted to get in. I knew that the Lord was speaking to me the emphasis of the front door, about what it means to go through the front door or the correct entrance. And so I was led to the book of John in chapter 10 when Jesus is saying, I am the door. He said, anyone who comes in through me will be saved and will go in and out and have pasture. And what the Lord is emphasizing today is that there are going to be no excuses. There is almost a stripping of excuses to find any kind of ways that are not specifically through Jesus Christ. And what does it mean to go through Jesus Christ? It means to understand who Jesus is, number one, and then understanding how do you go through him? How do you get in him? How do you actually get to know him and how does he know you? And a lot of people are nowadays following these other theologies that have led them astray and the Lord was showing me that there's going to be an evidence of what is not the right way and simply put but there's gonna be people who end up looking like they just are making excuses. Excuses to not do things the ways according to the Lord Jesus. If we just remember in the book of Acts when the church had just started, the first thing that Peter told, the first instruction that was given was to repent every one of you and to be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins and you shall receive the Holy Ghost. Now sometimes people receive the Holy Ghost uh, prior or after to this obedience but nonetheless, there is no excuse to try and go ahead and do things in different ways. Um, you're going to find many theologies and many people who have come up with different reasons to get to Christ or to kind of fill themselves with the grace of the Lord without actually obeying the Lord. And he was showing me that this convenience, it's not the right way. So even if you have been told to just confess that you believe Jesus is your is your Lord, that that's not enough. You have to take in the whole aspect of the scriptures. You have to take in the whole aspect aspect of who Christ is and why God would make himself manifest in the flesh for you, for you exactly. And so this is something that he's bringing to light so that we can see just how much accountability we have over what we do and how we need to follow through with the steps that Jesus left behind. When he was with his disciples, one of the main things that he told people was follow me. And so nowadays people are not following Jesus. They're following different theologies. They're following traditions. They're following different things that they've seen other people do and they don't understand why they are doing what they are doing. The Lord is revealing these things and he's showing them as excuses for not doing it the right way, for not following him day to day, for not putting your trust, loving him with your heart, your soul, your mind, every inch of you and giving up your old man in order to resurrect with Christ as a new man or new woman. These are the things that we need to understand when we realize who Christ is, is that there's going to be more and more of an emphasis on the truth on the way and on that one front entrance on the door which Jesus is this is just going to make it clear to you whether you have been lazy in the spirit for some people they have been lazy because they don't want to question things they're afraid of knowing the truth or afraid of knowing that there is clarity that there is black and white and that there is a, a sensibility to the scriptures the Bible actually makes sense these things are not just concepts as many people think they are so the Lord is clearing that up so that we can see what's the difference between what we We've been doing and what God actually intends for us to do. The Lord is showing us the exact way, which means you have to go straight to the actual steps that he said. You have to go through Jesus to get to the Father. We're, we're not going through these other doctrines. We're not going through these other ideas, even if they were created or put together in a close proximity to what the church was back then. The Lord is looking to see who it is who's actually obeying him, who's following those steps. And, and for those who have not followed in his steps, there will be a sense of, of conviction. Thank you, Jesus, because of the Holy Spirit, just showing people that if you want to get in, you've got to get in the right way. If you want to make it to heaven, if you want to endure and make it through this life and get into eternal life the way that he had set up for us, then we, we're going to have that conviction. All that's going to be left is the right way against the excuses. It's going to be God against worldly ways. It's going to be Jesus against worldly ways. According to 1 Corinthians 15, 
everything will be submitted under the feet of Jesus Christ. He's going to have dominion over everything surrounding these end times. And so that's that sweep up. If you are trying to get it right with the Lord, this is like a last call warning that we need to do it according to how he said and really let go of the ways that you have been taught according to men. It's time to roll up your sleeves and figure out what you need to do for salvation that you may also be in his will and also serve the Lord according to his ways. So I pray that this blesses you and gives you some clarity. And I'm just being led to share this. If you have any questions or need to know a little bit more about how the scripture makes sense, feel free to go to hisway.life. It's a great website that has a lot of information based on the scriptures, not according to bias. Feel free to go visit um, and have a great day. God bless.